Meantime, Border Patrol Chief uh, Raul Ortiz is blaming Biden's border policies for the surge of illegal migrants crossing the southern border under oath in a recorded deposition. Listen. Would you agree, Chief Ortiz, that the southern border is currently in crisis? Objection. Yes. When President Biden was elected, did the number of aliens trying to illegally enter the United States increase or decrease? Objection. Increase. If you don't have consequences, what is likely going to happen? In my experience, we have seen increases uh, when there are no consequences. Is the crisis that is currently ongoing at the southern border uh, making the border less safe for Americans and aliens alike? Objection. Yes. All right, and this is as the White House is claiming that illegal migrants are not just walking across the southern border. Joining me now, Texas Department of Public Safety, Lieutenant Christopher Oliveras. Lieutenant, it's great to see you this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I think that was pretty powerful testimony there. Um, obviously, we've seen an increase in illegal migrants coming across the border since President Biden um, has been in office, and it's really causing a problem in this country. It's a humanitarian crisis, um, and it's overrunning customs and border control. Uh, border Patrol as well. Your thoughts on the way the administration, Karine Jean Pierre, is trying to spin this by saying, oh no, this is this is very different. They're not just walking across. They're not just coming in with COVID. They're not doing all of these things that they're doing. Right, Jackie. So good morning, and, and uh, it's great to be with you. So, of course, we heard it directly, you know, from the Border Patrol chief himself about what's taking place along our border and the fact that the reason why we're seeing such an unprecedented number of illegal immigrants coming across our borders is because there's no consequences. And we've known that from the very beginning. We've been talking about that from the very beginning, how the federal government has not uh, taken any action to secure the border. They have completely dismantled every single policy that was working, that was effective, that was slowed down uh, mass migration prior to 2021. Uh, they completely dismantled and, and stopped the construction of the border wall. Every tool that was valuable and, and ne necessary for law enforcement to do its job to secure the border. But again, we're seeing the complete opposite. And you heard it directly again from the chief of the chief of border patrol. He said it himself that there's the reason why we're seeing this this influx is because there's no consequences. And unfortunately, we're going to continue seeing the numbers escalate. We've been seeing that from 2021 how the numbers continue to escalate in terms of mass migration, unaccompanied children, the gotaways, drugs that are coming across our border, fentanyl, also suspected terrorists that are coming across our borders as well. So, yeah. and then of course going back to what the press secretary mentioned as far as that. These immigrants are not walking across the border. Well, the video you just showed earlier just just clearly show that immigrants are clearly walking across right. the border. They are <laughs> clearly walking across that river to enter the United States. So I don't know how exactly how uh, she can actually say that they're not walking across the border. So that's Lieutenant, just a completely false statement to tell the American people. They are seeing the same pictures that we're seeing. Um, one can only assume exactly. that the policies and, and allowing this to go on um, are, are um, you know, are, are intentional. Um, meantime, I'm glad that you brought up the drug issue because the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration warning that rainbow fentanyl is this new trend that's being used by the drug cartels to drive addiction in young people. I mean, you literally see the picture there. They're making it look like candy. It's colored like candy. Fentanyl seizures at the southern border skyrocketing in July, up 202 percent month over month. Lieutenant, um, the cartels are, are the two main cartels that are uh, mass producing fentanyl. There are two of them supplying it to the United States states your thoughts your thoughts when you hear the stories of, of the parents that come on fox news and talk about their kids you know taking what they believe to be a, a xanax or a percocet and and they die from from a fentanyl overdose or poisoning however you'd want to well, call it right jackie so i mean well it's, it's very tragic and i'm sure that the parents the victims are very frustrated at the fact that the federal government has not addressed this issue and they have not taken any action or even come up with a plan of action to go after these criminal organizations to go after the cartels to dismantle these chemical weapon labs that are mass producing these counterfeit pills. Now we're seeing rainbow colored pills that are coming across our borders. And the sole purpose behind that is to target young users to drive addiction. It's it's, it's deceptive marketing hmm. that the cartels are using. And the two main cartels that we're seeing that are mass producing and distributing fentanyl, of course, is the Sinaloa cartel and the, the Jalisco New Generation cartel, the two most powerful cartels in Mexico right now that are mass producing this lethal poison. And just to give you, just to tell you what we've done on the state side, uh, Jackie, as a state agency, 
because of Governor Abbott's Operation Lone Star, we have seized over 400 million lethal doses of fentanyl statewide in the state of Texas. So that goes to show you that this drug is not only coming across the ports of entry or being seized at the ports of entry, but it's making its way into the interior. And we're seeing these drugs into, you know, making its way into our cities, and it's killing Americans at an alarming rate right now. There's an average of at least 300 Americans that are dying every single day because of some type of fentanyl poisoning. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. The numbers are staggering, too. And you think about how the FDA went after um, the vape companies and Juul, for example, because of the right. flavors, right, and the marketing uh, to children. Yet this is completely acceptable to come across the border, these, these pills that essentially are targeting kids. Um, Lieutenant Olivares, you sent us this video of an attempted human smuggling attempt in Laredo, Texas. Texas DPS <laughs> rescuing 26 illegal migrants who were being smuggled inside a tanker trailer. We saw pictures the other day of migrants in the back of a trunk. This is happening every single day. Tell us more. It is, Jack, and it all goes back to what the Border Patrol chief mentioned earlier, that there's no consequences. That's why we're seeing not only an influx of families and children coming across our borders, but the criminal organizations in Mexico exploit and they use that. They use the fact that the government is not putting any consequences on these actions. So they exploit that. They use that to their advantage. And that's why we're seeing an increase in human smuggling cases. We saw what took place in San Antonio, where 53 immigrants lost their lives because of a human smuggling event. Lucky enough for our men and women of Texas DPS, our troopers, our special agents, they were there at the right time and able to stop this potential human smuggling case that could have gone wrong, that we could have lost 26 more illegal immigrants, but we were able to arrest the driver and passenger. But this is a continued, a consistent uh, method of smuggling that we see throughout throughout the border, not just in commercial vehicles, but in and also in regular vehicles as well, yeah. in trunks and stash houses. There's an uptick in this, and the reason why the reason why Jack is because there's no consequences, and the cartels and the criminal organizations are able to exploit that and use that to their advantage, and it's unacceptable. Lieutenant Christopher Oliveras, so great to have you with us this morning. Thank you for sharing that video. Thank you for um, weighing in on this issue. It certainly is going to be an issue I think voters are thinking about as we head into the midterm right. elections. Great to see you.